Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. So for today, we're going to be planning out the week of July 11th through the 17th. I am going to be using kit three today, which is the black and white sort of minimalist type of kit. And I thought it'd be really fun to do um, oh my gosh, what is it called? Monotone? <laughs> it's just like a black and white, like very neutral type. I think it's monotone um, type of week. I've been excited to do something like that. And I'd like to incorporate more kits like this, where it's just kind of different shades of the same colors and stuff, maybe into the shop. I think that'd be really fun once the, you know, revamps are done this fall and everything. But yeah, so I am doing this voiceover on Wednesday, July 6th. It is about 11 o'clock, just about. I'm going to be leaving for my retreat in a couple hours, but I wanted to pre-film some YouTube videos make sure that they are up for you guys while I am away so I'm very excited for this retreat a lot of you have been asking me for details on it and to share my experience with it so I will definitely do that when I return and everything I'll probably just talk about it maybe in like a day in the life because I'm actually gonna film a day in the life on July 11th which will be my first day back into the office so maybe you guys can actually see the difference it makes maybe in like my energy level, if I've got more pep in my step, I don't know what's going to happen <laughs> in these next few days. Um, I'm not going to lie. I am feeling kind of heavy hearted right now because I'm going to, and see, I'm going to like get emotional, but I'm going to miss my kids <laughs> a lot. Of course, I'm going to miss Andrew too, but I have not been away from them for this long in, let's see, I went to train for my last company and I can't really remember how long I was gone. I think it was just about the same length in time. It was for a few days. Let me turn my phone on. Do not disturb too, because it just beeped at me. This little phone is going to be staying here today, but um, I haven't been gone from them for a while and like, I don't like leaving them at all. <laughs> So I just, I don't know, I'm not looking forward to that part of it. I think I need it to be a better mom and like have, like just be more present with my kids. That's something that I really need to work on because, you know, I have my phone with me all the time and I get notifications all the time and it distracts me from time that should be spent just solely focused on them. And so I'm hoping that this sort of like technology detox that I'm embarking on will make a difference. But I'm going to miss them so much and um, they know where I'm going to be and once I get to um, the resort I'm going to like share my room number and stuff with Andrew and he'll be able to get a hold of me. There's a phone in there and everything. I'm just not going to have my cell phone. I'm not going to have any of my iPads. It's like no technology. So I'm going to be completely disconnected in that way. But Andrew and I will check in with each other every day. Um, I told him, I was like, you have to answer <laughs> when I call and like, and all of that. And we just, we have a set time that we're going to check in with each other and I'm going to be able to talk to the girls and stuff. So it's not like I'm going to be totally away from them, but I'm just not going to see them and stuff. And so, but I'm hoping that this will just, you know, make me a better mom and, um, a better business owner. And it's just something that honestly, I just need to do. I need to get away for a little bit and rest and, you know, a big focus of mine for this retreat is going to be Bible study, connecting with the Lord. I feel like I've just been craving a stronger relationship with him lately and I feel like I haven't like my Bible study just hasn't been enough that I do in the morning like I want to really take some time to pray and journal and really study the Bible um you know I love you version but sometimes the little snippets here and there like it's it fills my cup in a way but I want to dive deeper than that you know so I actually got myself a really cool um like journaling type of Bible um, so I'll link it down below and then I picked up some new Bible highlighters. So I'll link that below too. I'm really excited. And then I also picked up a like guided Bible study. It's reading the whole Bible in 52 weeks. And, um, so I'm going to use that because I have you version on my phone and on my iPads and stuff, and those won't be with me. So I was like, okay, I'm going to need some sort of guide to just kind of follow and so I want to start that process. I want to read the Bible cover to cover, 
within the next year and just really study it. And yeah, so that's going to be a huge focus of mine. I'm bringing some other books along with me. Um, I'm bringing a couple like self-helpish, I guess you could say type of books made to crave. It's all about food cravings, which I have an emotional eating issue. <laughs> you know, I, instead of filling that void and that hole in my heart with Jesus, sometimes I turn to like Taco Bell <laughs> and it's just been an issue for me for years now and it's led to a lot of weight gain and stuff like that. So I want to explore the roots of that further um, because it's, in, in my opinion, it's something that I can only conquer with a closer relationship with God. I feel like I have to depend on God to fill that void rather than the food. And that's kind of what that book is all about. It's called Made to Crave. It's by Lisa Turkhurst. I feel like I always mess up her name, but I love her. She's written quite a few really good books um, about faith and everything and growing a deeper relationship with God. And then I also have Eat It, which is Jordan Syatt, who I love. I love Jordan Syatt. He's got like very no nonsense approach to like losing weight and stuff like that. So he wrote a book and I decided to pick that up and I was saving it for this retreat. So that is coming with me. And then I also have Get Out of Your Head, which is another, um, I don't remember the author's name for the life of me and I don't have the book near me, but um, it is all about just spiritual warfare that goes on in your mind and, and all that. And then I've got the North Wind, which I'm yet to finish. I'm more than halfway through it at this point, but I want to finish that. And then I have the Invisible, is it the Invisible Life of Addie LaRoe or something like that? I'm bringing that. So I will have lots of reading material. I expect to get through all of those while I am away. And then I'm bringing a whole bunch of bubble bath. <laughs> I'm bringing my journal and I'm planning to just sleep, eat good food, go on walks, get outside, you know, and read and just kind of, yeah, all that. And then I also, I talked about this a little bit on Instagram, but a big goal of mine also is to really figure out how I'm going to manage my social media exposure moving forward. So you guys, to be completely honest with you, I am sensitive. I am really sensitive. Um, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I can be kind of corny sometimes. You guys might know this if you've been around here for a while. For a while, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I feel like when I see like the hostility and hate that's being spewed and just stuff like that. And I, it's kind of weird because I have like my Facebook that's not personal. I don't have any friends on Facebook. I don't follow anyone. I literally just have it to have my Facebook group. And then I'm in some other like digital planning groups and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm not on there. But even still, if I open up Facebook, it's still like spews political crap at me. And it really frustrates me because I'm like, oh, I'm trying to get away from this. Like, why is this popping up in my feed? It doesn't make any sense. So, um, I have that. And then I have Instagram. I follow 25 people, just close friends and family on there. I don't follow anything else like that exposes me to any sort of political thing, but then same thing. Like I'll see random in my feed. Like I'll see a random person I don't follow and it's just Instagram spewing stuff at me. And then of course you've got YouTube and there's lots of commentators on YouTube and all that. And the political stuff has just gotten so hostile. And honestly, it's obnoxious at this point. Um, I just, I don't like being a part of it whatsoever. I keep it completely out of my business. I don't bring politics. I don't bring social issues, any of that into my business very intentionally because everybody's welcome here. You're all welcome here. If you're a Republican, if you're a liberal, if you're somewhere in between, if you're not associated with it at all, if you stay away from it, everybody is welcome here. Um, and I never want, I mean, I feel like we just all get so much exposure to that stuff all the time that I want this space to be a refuge away from it all. And I don't, I want it to be just like, I don't know. I, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I, I talked about it a lot on Instagram. So, um, on my stories and that's going to be gone actually by the time you guys are watching this, but I'm imagining a lot of you who are probably watching this probably saw the Instagram too. Cause I think you follow me in, in both places, 
but I need to manage my social media exposure a little bit better. And so the idea that I have right now is that even with like the very limited use I have, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit it even further and just totally remove YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all those things. I don't even use TikTok. I could probably delete it. I have a TikTok, but I never use it. <laughs> so, um, and I never go on there, honestly, but I can remove all of that from my phone. I can keep those apps on my iPad because I am, I carry my phone with me everywhere and I use my phone everywhere. So I feel like I'm just on those apps a lot more and they're a lot more distracting on my phone. You know, I bring my phone to bed and I am totally guilty of like just scrolling through random stuff or watching YouTube videos or something when I should be sleeping or reading a book, <laughs> something that's a lot better for my brain and my emotional well being than that. So, um, so yeah. That's kind of what my goal is going to be One, I'm on the retreat is to kind of think that through detox from the social media. I'm actually going to remove the apps from my phone before I leave. That way I'm not coming back and like immediately seeing a bunch of notifications. And I just want to be less distracted, more present with my family. I want to really prioritize family time and self care and things like that. Like it is just it's no more nonsense, Stephanie. Like I, no more excuses, no more, um, when this happens, then I'll do this. Or when this, when I finish this project, then I'll do this. Like the time is now, the time is now because I don't want to invest this time and money into this retreat and, you know, fix my burnout and then just go back to the old ways. You know, it, things have to change for me to avoid being in this position again. And so, um, you know, I, I've talked, I think in a couple videos now about how I'm managing my time. I do different theme days, as you'll see in this little setup, I have a day for admin. I have a day to work on planners, a day to work on stickers. I think that is working beautifully so far. I think time blocking does not work for me at all. <laughs> um, because I just, it just doesn't, I don't stick to the time blocks. If I'm being honest, like I'll just like be like, I need to finish this task. And so the time just bleeds into each other and it gets all crazy and messy and stressful. So I think that'll make a big difference, you know, keeping my iPads like pretty much just in my office. I do take my mini with me to church and sometimes I'll have it downstairs if I'm like pulling up a recipe or something like that. But other than that, my iPads really just stay in my office. So um, I want to make sure I'm sticking to my office hours that I'm not, you know, um, like checking messages when I'm supposed to be like taking a shower, <laughs> you know, which that happens. Like once I open up the app and I start doing stuff, like I just get engrossed in it. And before I know it, like 30 minutes has flown by and all of a sudden I'm too tired and now I have to take a shower the next day or, you know, I didn't get time to, to read as much as I wanted to. And so I need to just put boundaries basically into place for myself to manage these things. And you guys have all been just so incredibly supportive. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. You're so also just encouraging and you know, you're excited for me to go on this retreat and everything and you're completely understanding. And so I just want to thank you guys because honestly, you're just the best. And I love our community so very, very much. And I just, I feel very grateful every single day that we have this little community that's been building and building and everyone is very kind and uplifting and positive to one another. And it's just the best thing ever, honestly, like such a blessing in my life. All of you are so yeah. So anyways, um, that's pretty much everything that's going on. I am going to, once I'm done with this, I'm going to go pack. I'm doing laundry right now. I've got some clothes that I need to fold that are staring at me. So I need to pack and do laundry. Andrew and um, the girls are at the gym. So my goal is by the time they get back to be completely done with work and just kind of spend time with them. Cause I can't check in until four o'clock, which is about five hours from now. So I'm just going to hang out with them and all that. Um, I kept my task list very short today. So, um, but yeah, anyways, that is, I think it for this digital plan with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love how the spread turned out. I love the, I, 
gosh, I really hope like this is the right word because otherwise I'm saying it wrong like this whole time, but monotone, is that right? I think it is. <laughs> but I really love how this spread turned out. It's um, very cute. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I'm glad I finally got the chance to sit down and do that. Um, thank you so much for all the love too on the new releases and especially the scrapbooking kit. It's so exciting seeing you guys so excited <laughs> for the new types of stickers because honestly a lot of those will be coming to the sticker kit reformats this fall. So I'm pretty obsessed with them too. So it makes me really happy to see that you guys love them as well. So thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the support. I hope that you all are going to have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Tuesday for a day in the life. I I will again be filming a day in the life on Monday so when I get back. So we'll see what, what kind of difference this retreat makes. I have high hopes for it. I feel good about it. So I think it'll be great, but I will see you guys on Tuesday. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to one another. And yeah, I will chat with y'all later. Bye.